And we'd like to welcome the Golf Channel coverage here as the 48th Walker Cup is underway on a picture-perfect day at Seminole Golf Club, hosting this incredible competition for the very first time. And for the very first time being staged in the month of May here in the United States. And the United States trying to keep its role of wins in Walker Cup matches through the years here on home soil. They're up in three of the four matches. Dyer and Lamb represent the only winning number right now on Great Britain and Ireland's side. Best amateurs in the world for Great Britain and Ireland and the best for the United States. As you look at one of the stalwarts here at the par five ninth, second for Stuart Hagestad in his third straight Walker Cup at the age of 30. Advantage USA here. GB and I is laid up down the left side. Hagestad hits a very good looking shot here at the center of the green. 250 covers the front. That's pretty impressive. That's a great leave. Hagestad. Advantage US. Yep, and advantage in the match, one up. Extremely difficult, got to generate some spin. Oh. And it's just gotten away from him. And boy, oh boy, the, the momentum in this match is right in the American's pocket at the moment. That's nicely done. And you got to feel bad for Fitzpatrick. He certainly feels like he let Barkley down with that Aaron T shot here in such a big spot. Off the chart confident, beautiful putt. Americans now three up in that opening match. This for Eagle for Brown. After two very poor wedge shots in here on this par five. They have a chance here with a great lag putt to put a lot of heat on the U.S. guys. And that is what you call a great lag putt. So that should be a conceded birdie for Great Britain and Ireland. To tie. Okay, so that is a gift and, and, and exactly what the GB and I do on media in terms of turning a little bit of this ship around. And so now they're just two down. Two up. A little more doable with four to play. It's the biggest shot of this match. The U.S. team has 20 feet for birdie. If Fitzpatrick can cozy something up there, these guys can get to within one potentially. All right. They got a shot at it. And, you know, at these speeds, you must hit the ball with authority, and it's very diff difficult to do when you face this kind of speed. So hammer for birdie, and... That one drifts by a little bit, so GB and I is going to have another opportunity here at the 15th to win another hole and cut into this lead. It's back nine par fives. Goss on his bag as this putt rolls up to the cup. And Adam Arbogast, Cole Hammer's caddy, is a legend in this state in terms of amateur golf. He was a dominating junior player back in the 80s, and he's currently now in his 50s, the Florida State senior amateur champion. Just a wonderful guy, and nobody knows his golf course better. And a lot of the UGA players that play on the PGA Tour currently have a lot of things to say about this guy in terms of his oh, potential. But man. man, that was a very quick transition and things just got really interesting out here in match number one. Match play at Seminole. What a great combination. And Hammer and Thompson feeling it right now after being three up. All of a sudden they've lost two in a row and they're now just one up. As we watched that opening match at 16 and what was it like for you, buddy, as a player and as a captain as we watched Barkley Brown's third? Well, I had the opportunity to hit that first shot, and I can tell you, I don't think I've ever been that nervous. Hammer's third at 16. Trying to skip something back there. You could hear him right away say something. He's to believe he didn't like the contact. 16. Fitzpatrick first to go for par. This kid's got moxie. He loves these situations. Oh, oh, look at that. Big fist pump from the young man. This is why he's out first. He's emotional, flamboyant, just a charismatic personality. And he did get a read from Fitzpatrick's putt. Wow, match play, fellas. This is tremendous. That's three misses in a row for Davis great Thompson after three great makes in a row. United States, 
and that's three straight five. wins for Great Britain the and Ireland in that tied. opening match. These first two matches have been, as they say in match play, jargon flipped. Yeah. A lot of left to right wind at the moment. Looking to fly something about 185 in the air. Oh, Hang on. Yep, we're not done yet. Yep. It seems a little harsh. This is a good looking line. Oh, yes. That's coming to the plate. That is stepping up. Yep. To open it up. Well, it's a little into the breeze. He had that going for him and up the hill. So a little check on that. Very flat breaking a couple of feet to his right. Okay, should be a conceded par, and forced GD and I to make its par attempt to tie the hole. Lex trying to make this putt to tie the hole. Got oh, oh, he thought he had it. He went for the fist pump just a little <laughs> early, my goodness. Looked like it was gonna be another one. That is a big exchange at 17, so Hammer and Thompson go to the last one up. That was a rude horseshoe as he was walking it in, taking the step. Oh, my goodness. That's about as bad as a, a lip out as you can get right there. Seems like he likes it. Watch out. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Big difference being on the short grass there, and that is going to be fairway there. Not as experienced as the other guys in this group, but has stepped up on occasion today. Stay out of that. Stay That's out of that. Added a little right as well. Uh oh. That looks like that dipped into the bunker. That is a bad result right there. If he gets this on the green, I, he's going to be thrilled. Well, it sounded clean. It's on a very good line, just right of the flag as we look at it. What a shot. That's the shot of the day. Wow. With the pressure on Zing, one down from the bunker. Wow, what a shot. The fiery Fitzpatrick delivers you. Right of the flag. See if it's the right club. Yep. And remember, a tie on this hole will give the Americans a win. Again, the Americans build a three up lead, lost it all. GB and I had one lead. It was just one up through nine holes in this match, which has been dominated by the U.S. squad trying to win it here. And Hammer with a final blow for the U.S at the 18th. Game, set, match right there. Wow, what a finish. That was an aggressive putt. But as Bones described, uphill into the grain, and Cole Hammer puts the first point on the board in this Walker Cup. That is really impressive. You couldn't have, uh, <laughs> wow, you couldn't have scripted any better than that for Cole Hammer. What a great way to finish. You couldn't have blamed him for lagging it up there close either. But he didn't do that, Bones. You were right. And what a putt. What a finish. Huge win for the American team there. Yep, and Nathaniel Crosby gets the point he wanted desperately, that opening match with a pair that have had a good resume and Cole Hammer with Walker Cup experience as well. Yep, he could have just cozied it up there, but that was the last thing on his head. Wow. <laughs> Well, just like the hat says, a W for Thompson and Hammer. This is the kind of putt you'll draw on the rest of your life. 21-year-old Cole Hammer, who just won the Big 12 Conference Championship by a shot over his Walker Cup teammate, Quade Cummins. It's incredible. You have to bring a seamstress with you to every 
one of these events to fix what went wrong. <laughs> but uh, well, look how fast this putt is. Okay. First look at the par 5 14th, yeah. 501 yards. There's no better scene behind you anywhere that I can think of behind the 14th tee there, hard by the Atlantic Ocean, heading back away. Mark Power, this for birdie to win the hole. Great look to cut into that lead. Yeah, it's not going to break that much. Wow. But the only thing going for him is back into the wind here. Ooh, that sounded good, but he didn't go far went enough. Went for the home run ball. Well, he had to, though, Rip. Is super quick, breaking huge to the right, probably close to eight feet of break. Really nicely done at 13, par three. So GB and I trying to chip away at that American lead. Cummins and Eckroat. This is not easy either. There's just not enough green to really work with. Plus, you've got wind coming from behind. It makes it tough to stop close to the hole. Sounded good. Yeah, but that's all you could do, Kurt, is yep. get it up above that hole. And now you can probably breathe on that next one and it'll reach. Won the Irish Open Boys Championship in 16 and 17 as Cummins just trickles this down, burns the left edge. Back to back holes one for GB and I. That happened on the front nine at one point as well. Yep, so Kurt, they're trying to do it in the first two matches. United States of America, six. They determined that the ball did not cross the line on the other side, so he is behind the water back there trying to get three wood just up in front of the green somewhere. All he could do a fairly long birdie attempt for GBI, a pretty conservative bunker shot out of them. But the Americans need this putt if they're going to have a chance to tie this hole. And this appears to be very close to being a tied match with three to play. Just two putts to win this hole. That ought to get it done, Kurt. Sure will. So we're seeing in these first two matches, Singh, we're seeing a three down turnaround. Now just one down at the 16th in the first match. This was a three down turn that is turnaround, as Kurt mentioned, just a few holes ago, and now they're tied. Austin Eckroat. GB and I already in for par. Good putt there. That was a good four footer he had to make. They needed it, Kurt. They did. Great Britain and Ireland four, United States so America, that match four, remains all tied five. after Great Britain and Ireland won 13, 14, and 15. Another part of this early foursome match play that has turned around. He starts this at the left side of the green. If the wind gets it at all, it should be good. Yep, that's a fine shot from back there. Ekro needs to hit a quality shot here. I, it appears to be an eight iron as well. This just starts more at the pin, but it's cutting, and this this could very well miss right. I think it's going to miss right. Yep, down into the bunker. It's a hard shot. It rolls off far enough. He's maybe slight downslope there. And back at 17 from that bunker on the right. Good lie, but a risky. The right edge of that green falls away. Cummins oh didn't get it up there. He took a risk. These are hard bunkers, I tell you. The, the sand is a, such a texture, it's hard to clip it, and the greens are so fast. But upcoming. And trying it again is Ekroad from the bunker. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's about as good as you can do from down there, Paul, yep. and it was a real mistake. But the par three. Very similar to that putt they had in 13. Just ride the ridge, settle it in there, and win the hole and move on. And that's what he's doing, Kurt. That's textbook right there, a little lag for Great Britain and Ireland. And they have their very first lead of the match, saying it comes at the 17th one up. So GB and I wasn't able to pull off that first win, but they did turn it around, which kind of gave them some confidence, and who knows. He could put a lot of pressure on the Americans here by hitting a quality shot. Again, the Americans were three up in this match. Now one down, the go, power in Murphy. Go. Yep. 
Is that going to stay? It stayed. I think it stayed. Yep. Just barely. <laughs> it is pretty amazing. They're good. When you look at this match on paper, you got two All-America players on two of the best teams in college golf. And GB and I is about to take them down right here. More than likely, two putts will do it. Probably the slowest uphill putt he's had today right here. He gave it a ride. Oh, boy. Oh. Oof. Just wanted to lag it up Gimme, and he missed it by about 10 inches of being Gimme. This is Quade Cummins with a chance. His teammate Cole Hammer on the previous group made one here to win it. And that should be close enough for a four. And it is. And so it has come down to Great Britain and Ireland to see if they can win it. Now John Murphy to win the point for Great Britain and Ireland. So they take their first lead of the entire match at the 17th, finish it off by tying the 18th hole to put their first point on the board for Captain Stuart Wilson. And they were four down through 10 holes and came back and won the match. Incredible. So Steve Sands awaits the latest winning GB and I team here. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> there's a lot for Great Britain and Ireland here to be proud of, Zing. They didn't win the first match, but they came back big time on Hammer and Thompson, who won just one up, and Cummins and Ekro squander that three up lead and lose it. So this has to give Stuart Wilson and his side loads of confidence. So we've got a point on the board each. Jack Dyer's fourth back at 11. Remember, GB and I got in trouble on the water off the tee. So one last desperate swing here. As that trickles off the edge. A lot of guys spending time at the hotel. So some modifications by the USGA to allow alternates to enter the contest to replace somebody who's not feeling healthy and also allowing that person under the weather, Dan, to come back in if needed. Yeah. A lot of changes made, but I think the right decision, the right call. Unique situation, first time ever. Alternates traveled, it worked out, didn't it? In fact, Dyer in match number three, this one the hole for Great Britain and Ireland. This is a really big match for Great Britain and Ireland, I feel, Steve. They got to win this match. Birdie to tie the hole with Meisner and Castillo. Whoa, costly. Seems like short putts missed here. Greens are like pool tables, but they are tricky. They're hard to read and uh, intimidatingly fast. And this is Mac Meisner over at the 15th for Birdie to win the hole. Ian Castillo taking the one-up lead over Jack Dyer and Maddie Lamb. So the Americans back up on top in that one. 16. Meisner for birdie to win the hole for the Americans. Oh. Jack Dyer can roll it in, tie the hole, remain one down. He does just that. So match three, they're hanging in it. Playing from the short right bunker, very tough shot, not much green to work with. This is a fantastic <laughs> shot, my goodness. Should be a conceded three for GB and I. And Castillo at the 17th for part of tie the hole. Wasn't quite close enough to get the concession there, so ties the hole. And Castillo and Meisner in good shape, one up with one to play. Should be nine iron. This is tugged up the left edge of the green. This needs to get down. Oh, no. Oh. Seemed like a lot of club, given how much adrenaline he must have running through him at the moment. What's that third shot like, Zing? That ball looks heavy in the sand, and I, I don't think he has any chance of getting that within 15 feet, to be honest, unless he hits the stick. <laughs> 
Terrific line from 128. Super line. He's walking it up, Bones. And it oh. is gorgeous. So clutch. That's coming through in a pinch right there. And he knows it that that pretty much, barring a miracle, makes it a done deal. Matty Lamb. That's a pretty good shot. Yep. But it was all, all he could do. Considered. Yep. Yeah, both teams have dealt with it, and I'm sure fatigue will be a factor this afternoon. Pretty much a must make. Yeah, we should see hats off right about and now. And that is it, Bones. And the second point of the day goes the Americans leading 2-1 now with one match left. Meisner and Castillo got a run from Dyer and Lamb, but able to hold on. Especially this one. This has like, quite a bit of an uphill in it, so I'm going to take some good touch here to measure out the distance. And as you would expect, uh, just went by just a bit. Players to get down this early in the competition. I will say, though, it looks like the nerves are starting to ease a little bit. Uh, this is the most nerve-wracking uh, time in the match, the first. You said it, Paul. It wasn't going to be an easy two-putt from that front part of the green. Well, you knew because of uh, what we saw earlier, uh, Steve. They, Rick, nobody could Ireland lag it up five. there, Gimme, even from 20 United feet. United States 5. United States remains one up. Yeah, downhill, down grain. Just going to be a little bit right to left. And that trickles out a good to Jake Bolton for birdie to win the hole for Great Britain and Ireland. Uh, definitely not going to find an easier putt out here today. A little uphill, a little right to left. Speed not an issue. Can really just commit to his line and, and hit it. So more momentum for GB and I as Flanagan and Bolton tie it up through 11 on Flanagan or on Hagestad and Mao in that final match. Yeah, we're seeing the ebb and flow that Buddy Marucci alluded to. He's uh, cheering on the guys for GB and I, Mark Power and John Murphy over at the 12th, Burko. That's uh, Angus Flanagan for GB and I. That was for Birdie to win the hole. Four, United States four, match remains tied. Now at 13, the par three, second for Hagestad. Uh, GBI already on the green with a birdie. Look, uh, this is a tough ah. shot. Oh, gosh. Sorry, Mel. Some things not getting much easier for the United States here. He's got to cut the legs out of that one, and he does. But, oh, oh, boy. Yeah, they're wow. going to give him this hole. It's nice to get a gift if you're playing match play alternate shot, and that's what they're getting. Bolton for birdie to win the hole, Noda. American side already in with a par five. This is for four here. Ticklish little putt right to left. Just got to barely touch it, and it'll swing hard to his left. This has been a tight match throughout, but right here, Bolton with a great opportunity to get the two up lead, and that is right in the middle. For Britain, Jake Bolton. Ireland, four. Another one of those United alternates forced into play Great in this Britain, opening Ireland session. And he and Flanagan are getting it done against Hagestad and Mao in that anchor match. He's going to go low. Try to bounce it on there. Yeah. And we did the flyover on this hole. I just said the second shot. If you don't want it, miss this green to the left today. Yeah, yeah the easier the ready to go. Here. Yep. A little bit of a downhill, so it's going to take some of the spin off in the trajectory. So just have to land this just on the green. Oh boy, he went after that. And he's noticed it. Now see, he had so much speed there. And in a bunker, speed is spin. But these greens don't spin. I just didn't think he saw the right shot there. He didn't need to land it that far into the green. Oh, good look at putt. Yeah. Rolls it in at a great time. That was huge, guys, right there. Great read, great pace. Yeah, and on a scale of difficulty, I mean, that is a very difficult putt. Uphill, side slope, the collar's kind of right there on your backstroke, and why don't you just fall to the left here at the end? Well, not to mention the circumstance. 
Yeah, it's a situation. Their backs against the wall. Yep. Oldest player on either team. 2016 U.S. Mid Amateur Champion. You could call Quake Cummings a Mid Am player because he's 25 years old, but certainly not the long amateur resume that this guy has, which has been a part of it. And a big putty rolled in there. Now he's trying to dodge the Flanagan birdie to tie the hole. And so the Americans have a little hope there. They're now just one down. Hagistan and William Mao with three holes left in the final of the four foursome matches. Just got to make sure he takes enough to get it back to the hole. A little bit of a false front, about six or seven pace short of the hole. We'll have single camera coverage on these last holes. This is not a good shot here at all. Oh, no. That's all nerve. Yeah, so about 10 yards closer, Zing just has to take this. Right at the hole is what he's decided to do with this ball. Yeah, there you go. Good shot there by William Mao. Way there and just let it run up and back to where this hole's cut. Oh, that was thin. Seen a few like that. A couple drop kicks and a couple balls come out thin. He plays Some quickly. Of these bunkers don't have that much sand in the very bottoms of them. Yeah, I'm surprised that this club selection must be trying to make this one Burko because I thought he would have gone with a less lofted option, maybe even a putter. Well handled. Yeah, still not going to be good enough. They're most likely going to walk off here tied. See what they can do on the last two. This is Hagestad just cozying that one down there. And if you're the Americans and Captain Nathaniel Crosby, you want that 30 year old in this moment to realize the bigger picture Great of what point. it stands for. Great point. That's why he's sitting in the spot he's in. This is a critical point for both squads. Mal primarily hits a little bit of a left to right shot, so it's gonna be difficult for him to get it tight. Starts it well left, waiting for it to cut. It's not cooperating though. And it's back in that back bunker. That's okay. That's not the worst place to be. Yeah, and a pretty big spot, Danny. Just another poor swing, very similar to the one he just hit. Oh, wow. Now well, they're in big time danger of losing this hole. So this is Angus Flanagan dealing with a ball below his feet in the sand. Tough shot. Go! Oh, wow. What a shot. Oh, and he feels like he got robbed a little bit as well. It had a little bit of check in it, which I there's nobody in the world that would have predicted that coming out of that lie. Well, he hit right on the face of that bunker. Has not been great around the greens today. Left uh, quite a few average shots that he's hit. Not this time, though. Oh, it's a beauty by Hagestad. Easy. It's running out a little bit, but that was not easy to judge the speed. That's going to swing from his left to right. Nobody's really even come close on this putt yet. Until now. Until now. What a putt by Bolton. Boy, that's how you make up for a couple of Aaron approach shots. Make the huge one on the 17th. How big could that end up being by the end of this day? That's huge. Wow. I mean, Literally, you're about to almost auto lose the hole, and suddenly you can win it. And this is what GBI needed. Angus Flanagan handles that sandy lie, gives him a chance for it, and Bolton drains it. And so now for the tie is Mao. And all of a sudden, GBI has a one-up lead with one more to play. Incredible. Stuart Wilson and his squad looking to tie this up at two points apiece heading into the afternoon singles match play ebb and flow indeed obviously like to hug the left side as much as possible the strong left to right wind makes that a difficult oh, 
Flanagan headed way okay. right. That's right. That's fine. Yeah, Should be okay, though, as they're saying. Yeah. It's a long ways yeah. away, but you can see it's out on the driving range. It's a <laughs> perfect lie. That's, it. That's how far right it went. Agastat's going to have to start this down the left side. He, too, prefers to hit it pretty straight, maybe just a little left right in it. I guess Dad looks like he likes it. Playing a peeler left to right over the dunes. Yeah, that's a great shot. That Easy. is a solid shot. William Mao will get the second shot from there. And we made a big putt on the last. Time for a big shot here at 18. Good looking shot, right at the green, really nice. What a clutch oh. shot. Oh. Jake Bolton delivers again. Oh, wow. 22 year old from England. Not wasting any time nope. now, taking dead aim from 110. This has to spin to the right just a bit. It did, but he's come up a hair short, Noda, and he has to make that putt. So Angus Flanagan hits it right into the driving range, and Jake Bolton says, no problem, I'll hit a laser up the hill. Big putt here to put some pressure. Oh, it just no. never looked like it had enough, did it? No, and that's just what you don't want. Right on line, though, if you would have just hit at the appropriate speed. So all they need is two putts from here, and Great Britain and Ireland is going to square up the first session at 2-2. Angus Flanagan just cozying it up there, and that will do it. The final point of the morning foursomes goes to Great Britain and Ireland, the huge underdogs in the 48th Walker Cup. And they are 2-2 headed into the eight singles matches to conclude the first of the two days of competition. Stuart Wilson, the GB&I captain, has to be ecstatic. Oh, yeah, I would think so. Especially okay. after the way they turned the first two matches around, Zing. One ended up in a loss as Hammer and Thompson were able to hang on. But Power and Murphy took their only lead of the day at 17, hung on at 18 to win it. Meisner and Castillo followed up with the U.S.'s second point, and then it's Flanagan and Bolton who had an incredible par save at the 17th and then hanging on in the 18th to win it.